Hello and welcome back to Project Vuperia. So you'll notice that this is a bit different from what we were doing before with the terrain. Currently I'm just doing a little bit of goofing around with uh, messing with planet generation because I am bored of working with that terrain so I took a little break. And here is planet. So <laughs> this is... um using atmospheric scattering for the atmosphere so it looks it looks very nice especially if you look at it from like the corner oh look at that that looks fantastic and it looks just as good if you're on the planet although we'll look at that in a second we'll actually drop a guy down on it the only thing that doesn't look good is this is a fairly low resolution uh sphere here so it's a little bit bumpy you can kind of see the corners from it but don't worry about that um the reason I've been testing with this is for this noise. I'm trying to generate noise that I can wrap over a sphere with it looking pretty good. And I think I've gotten it down pretty well. So I think this is going to be the noise used to generate the planets in the actual game. As you can see, we've got continents and islands. And then we've got oceans. Everything's pretty spread out from each other. Um... And quite obviously, I have a bunch of settings I can change to uh, move all of that around. So if we go over to our not atmosphere, we have atmosphere and not atmosphere. This is not the atmosphere. And if we just change the frequency a bit or we change the noise offset especially, let's do negative 0.2. Ooh, look at all the ocean. 0 0.3, 0 0.4, 0 0.5, and now there's... Now there's pretty much no land left altogether. We've got a few tiny islands. And messing around with this will pretty much give us all the different planet types in the game. Obviously, there will also be the different uh, materials the planets are made out of. But as for continent generation and just land in general, this is the... Uh, basics of it by changing around those values of the random noise that makes the planet we can make it look very different if we turn up the frequency we get much smaller and scattered islands all over the place if we turn it down we get huge ones there's a pangea right there very nice but i told you guys that i was going to drop down onto the planet so that you could see it from there and let's do so so if we just jump right in oh i probably have to actually put the script on here to move the camera do 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 main camera bam all right there we are and we have to move much faster than that because it's a realistically sized planet so it's slightly challenging well no it's a thousand times smaller than an actual planet it's uh not quite realistic very disappointing i know uh there's slight problems with making it realistically sized floating point errors make things very challenging at that point uh, Twenty thousand. it shouldn't look weird anymore Nope, it doesn't look weird anymore. And we can go ahead and bring ourselves onto the planet. So let's go down. And you can see that, unlike most shaders, that this one is actually going to make it so that once we're on the ground, the sky is actually blue now. And the sun looks correct. Everything is pretty good. As we go away, we can see that the atmosphere gets a little bit cloudy. And then we can see that we're now in space. Um, but if we go to an area with a little bit more of an angle to the sun, we'll see that since there's more air between us and the sun, things get a little bit darker and redder. And we can actually go into a sunset by going around back to look at that. Doesn't that look fantastic? Oh, I'm so excited for when I have this actually working with real terrain and you watch the sunset from your planet. I know it's not round. There's a lot of uh, <laughs> edges everywhere because it's not completely round. But point being, I think it looks pretty fantastic even considering. And then obviously this is a thousand times uh, larger, well, smaller than it should be. So 
if we are to measure this out, there's actually a really simple way to measure it out and should give you guys a sense of scale here. All we have to do is we have to go to our planet and we just do game object cube. We get this cube and we move it to the edge of this, which is going to be at like 13,500. No, it's going to be halfway there. So that's going to be like 7,000. We'll move it the rest away by hand. Here we are at our cube. And if we move it in, this cube represents one kilometer. Yay, one kilometer cube. So if we get our one kilometer cube and bring it over here, we can see that these uh, landforms are actually pretty well sized. Um, if we go over here, this island here is a few kilometers across. Look at that. And we can turn it to get a more accurate view. And if that's one kilometer across, I think it's pretty easy to see that. This right here is a pretty huge island, but it's not like unrealistically huge. It's it's just big. And then the tiny, tiny islands are actually smaller. We have things that are smaller than a kilometer. And if we ever want more detail, all we have to do is we just click on it. And then we just add a few more octaves. So if we go from 20 to 25, you'll see that there's even more detail now. The islands have little islands. And if we go to 30, that's too far. Okay. Uh, 26. 27, 28, 29 is when things get a little bit ridiculous. But over at 27, we can still see that uh, things look pretty awesome. There's a lot of detail to the point where we can get it down to each block. And this is all being rendered on the GPU, and it really isn't laggy. Um, it's pretty impressive how fast the GPU can render noise. I'm now rendering an entire planet in noise, and we don't really have any lag. Oh my. This game is going to be beautiful. But yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Tell me what you think below. Do you think this is going in a good direction? What do you think of the atmospheric effects? Obviously, I, I didn't make the atmospheric effects. But i'm going to be using them in the final game and i got the license to it because it looks so fantastic and i will see you all next time bye